Mr. Williams uh, indicated to me earlier that is formally subscribed to the Christian religious yeah. way of life. Yeah, and, and we don't born there. We bury our dead. That's all I know from growing up in my family. I don't see why somebody should like take some eat right in his dead already. You ain't got no right to hold the body. And you wanna burn him too. I just need right then to go and bury peacefully. That's all I want. And there you've heard it from Mr. Williams, father of Royden Williams, that the family is really intent on receiving his body so that they can give him the dignity of a decent burial. And on that note, I just want to quote for the benefit of the media from what is referred to as the Nelson Mandela Rules. This is actually the United Nations standard minimum rules for the treatment of prisoners. And it says it, Rule 32, and I quote, the prison administration shall treat the body of a deceased prisoner with respect and dignity. The body of a deceased prisoner should be returned to his or her next of kin as soon as reasonably possible. At latest, upon completion of the investigation, the prison administration shall facilitate a culturally appropriate funeral if there is no responsible party willing or able to do so and shall keep a full record of the matter." End of quote. We do not have the difficulties here of this caveat with no responsible party being available. We have Mr. Williams who has articulated himself on behalf of the relatives and family of Royden Williams that they're intent on affording him the dignity of a decent burial. Also, what the prison authority has the, 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 the discretion of doing, and in circumstances of death, um, which is occasioned by some medical challenge, upon the request of the relatives for the release of the body, once the medical practitioner sanctions that the body is fit for release into the custody of the family, then the body properly should be released. We do not have that challenge here. Mr. Williams did not die under circumstances of any medical, um, any, any medical complications. He was shot and killed. There properly should be no bar to the release of, the body, uh, of his body to his family. We will now field uh, questions uh, from you, if you have any. Good afternoon, Ms. Marcus. I'm not in a position to say. We don't have the benefit of the postmortem report. No, didn't share with me. So did it tell you what he died by? They say he was shot. I didn't, they didn't tell me what he died by because that's what I hear from the news. Nobody never tell me how I didn't die or anything. I just saw hearing news and this and about like I just speculating, you know, but I don't know how he died. And you didn't question it? I, well, I, I, who, who, I'm go, who I'm going to question? The doctor was there? The doctor the wasn't there. No, no, no. What doctor was there? No doctor was there. I'm talking, did you witness the postmortem? No, I didn't witness, no, we didn't wait, nobody witnessed that. As per instructions, the relatives just had an opportunity to observe the body. They, was, they gave us time, like 10 minutes to see him. No phone.
but with that, we comply with them, but we thought we would get, we would get the body. We are in the process of doing so. How about most of the news source? Good afternoon. Uh, there were two other persons who were shot dead, uh, two accomplices, uh, based on the police reports. Uh, could you say, or do you know, uh, what was the uh, procedure for the release of those bodies? Were those bodies released to the family? Did the authorities dispose of those bodies, bury uh, cremate? Are you aware of that? The two alleged accomplices you're referring to would be Neon Howard and Delon Williams, I think, yeah. also known as Odell Roberts. We do not have the benefit of any information that suggests that there's any bar by the state to the release of those bodies to the custody of the family for burial. And uh, I know that the law firm must have represented or must have knowledge of how the prison treats with escapees who are killed while on the run. Uh, have you had those experiences before? Is the body usually, in those cases, handed over to the family, uh, where it's an escapee on the run, as against the prison uh, carrying out whatever burial or cremation? Two things. Firstly, I'm not aware of any protocol in writing or by custom where even in these circumstances, the bodies are disposed of when you have the family making uh, an actual request to have the body handed over to them for burial. And it's also important to note that though Mr. Williams uh, is alleged to have escaped from the prison, though he was killed in the circumstances that he is alleged to have been killed in, Mr. Williams had two matters uh, before the Court of Appeal, two subsisting matters. So this is not the case of a prisoner who is just condemned properly so-called. But he was on death row. Well, he was on death row, having been convicted for capital offenses and having been accordingly sentenced. But those matters were appealed. When did the prison indicate to uh, the family that they would be making these moves uh, to cremate the body or to uh, dispose of the body uh, from Wednesday to now? When was the family first informed? As per instructions, that information was communicated to them. Or was it this morning? Yesterday. Uh, that, that information was communicated yesterday. And did they, uh, sir, did they ask? Uh, what is the family's preference based on religion? No. Did that you remember the man is a condemned man? Is if the state one over his body they are need. Otherwise they do what they want with it. So then just a waste time with lie and lie and lie. Uh, did any family member agree to have the permission of the afternoon? Yes. 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 Yesterday, we wanted to, 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 to find out. So you agreed to the cremation? Yeah. No, 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 not the cremation. We, we agreed to no cremation. I think it's about that. What are you saying? Not no cremation, we, we, we agreed to. So, no point. You agreed? We, we, was, agree, we, we was agreed, but we was forced to agree because we believe that, 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 that how they tell us that we cannot get the body. And it has to burn by 2 o'clock today. So you agree? We, 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 we have no option. We didn't want that. We was begging to go. I said, give us the body to go. Boy, we said, bury them. They said, no, it can't happen. So it belongs to the state. So you're saying by 2 o'clock today? I don't know. That's what they say. That's what they say. You know, if they're in appeal, but for now, it's still the state property. That's what I'm here for, to stop it. I want to take right and home. Well, we're in the process of filing a requisite application to bar the state from acting as it is communicated it intends to. It is now one of um, two minutes to one. You said that you intend to let soon, two o'clock is just now. Yes. Um, are they there already? About to be done? Or are they going to be there? Yes. 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 Y
our turn is feverishly working on that. And uh, just for clarification, uh, Miss 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 Bacchus, I just wanted um, to be clear that there, there's no issue here of a consent to have the body cremated. No, the the family was basically instructed. Yeah. That this is a course of action that yes, will be that, followed that, by that, the state. That's going to happen. That's and that they happen. have no choice yeah, but to comply. It. Any further questions? Have you reached out to the prison authorities? What have they been saying? Uh, the prison authorities, the director of prison, uh, has he been talking to you? Or? Well, I personally have not reached out to the director of prisons, and I cannot comment on whether my learned senior would have. If there are no more questions, we would like to thank you kindly. Sorry, Gordon, just to answer your, your, your uh, question. Uh, the Attorney General, and uh, if you permit me. And if you permit me, I will. And that's really exactly what you said. very late yesterday afternoon and I immediately reached out to the Attorney General and I said to him, Mr. Attorney General, this is a position here, the family are entitled to the body because Mr. Williams has two pending criminal appeals against his conviction and therefore he's not a condemned, finally condemned person and in the circumstances of his death, the family is entitled to that. He, um, I, I will um, read to you and give you the time the Contact, content of the communications. My message to him, AG, the relatives of Royden Williams have been unable to recover his body. They have been informed that the state intends to cremate him. This, I believe, is impermissible as he has two appeals pending. Trying to avoid this becoming, trying to avoid this becoming an issue. Can you advise the police that they are without authority to cremate him and will only fuel more speculation? He said he will get back to me. This morning at 6.59, I again messaged him. I said, good morning, AG, following up on the Roy and Williams body being released. His response, spoke to COP, Commissioner of Police. He says he's unaware of the situation. He has no objection in handing over the body. Claims he was unaware of the family's interest in this regard. I then said to him, because by then I had message the Registrar to the Chief Justice to indicate that we are going to file matters uh, this morning at 8.30 as soon as the registry opened. I then said to him at 8.41, can I rely on this without the necessity of court proceedings? Proceeding, sorry. I copied you on an email to COP on this. 8.42, the AG responds, COP called me back to say that he instructed as I advised. I said to him, many thanks. Um, I then said to him at 9-11, Hi, Anil, the people at Memorial Gardens have informed the relatives that the prisons have said they are proceeding with the cremation. He said, give me a few. I then said to him, this would be most egregious, especially since we've informed the Chief Justice that we are no longer proceeding based on what you represented. At 9-50, I said to him, the family would like the body handed over. And at 10.17, I said to him, we're being forced to re-engage the court in the light of the refusal of the refusal to hand over the body. At 10.18, he said, give me a few. And at 10.24, I said, we have alerted the Chief Justice's Registrar that we would like an urgent hearing. 10.58, I asked if there was any update. And then at 11.15, he said to me, the state will not concede handing over the body. The body remains in the lawful possession of the state. The state is prepared to permit the relatives to attend the funeral and participate as per discussions with the sister, who was purportedly acting on behalf of the family. From my instructions, those discussions were cordial and not contentious. I responded at 11.19. He's an appellant, not a finally condemned person. And that was the end of our interaction. Just in terms of... Um, 
context, contextual information, I was in contact both with his sister and his father during that period of time. And they both said they repeated that they wanted the body for burial. Um, I called the director of prisons, Mr. Elliot, spoke to him, um, and I pointed out to him that the prison authority does not have the, the um, statutory authority to bury or cremate. They have to hand the body over. He said to me, um, he will get back to me, and then I spoke to the sister. He, oh, he said to me he wasn't going to have any further conversation with me. Um, he is speaking to the relatives. I called uh, the sister, and I said, this is what Mr. Elliot has said. Please call him and repeat that you want the body. She then called me back and said, Mr. Elliot said he was referring it to the minister, Mr. Ben, and that she should go to Mr. Ben. I advised her that they should go to the Ministry of Home Affairs to see the minister, and about half an hour ago, I was informed that uh, the minister, through secretary or some representative, indicated that they should return on Monday. As you're aware, the, so the cremation we fear might be going. I'm going to ask if Mr. Williams can be excused, but it's supposed to be between now and 2 o'clock. What happens if they go ahead? What, what's your next? Is that the end of this? No, if, if, they, go, if they go ahead, clearly with all the permission of the family, that will create another legal issue. Um, the, the problem with this is, is multifold. One is this, it's a legal consequence, which is fine, you go to court and you can get a declaration, etc., and perhaps an award of damages. But in addition to that, the problem with this here is the manner and, uh, in which the prison have treated with a person who they have no authority to determine how he is disposed of, particularly in the light of the express wishes of the family. And once we reach that stage where we disregard not only the law, but the basic conventions, as Mr. Daniels has so eloquently referred you to, the Nelson Mandela principles, we are in a dangerous place. Because one of the obvious questions that will be raised is once you cremate a body, there is nothing to have a second autopsy to be performed on. One of my recommendations to the family was that they should have a second autopsy. Um, Mr. Williams, who observed the body, was not allowed to see the back of the body. He observed bullet holes, or well, I should say he observed, yes, bullet holes in the front of the body. Now, as you know, projectiles can enter the body and leave without necessarily um, creating a big hole on, on exit. And the most critical part of that would be what was the back of Royden and Williams looking like? Because if, if these eight wounds are on the front, we don't know in the absence of seeing the back whether there were entry wounds at the back of the body. And all of that, would a pathologist or a second opinion would have to refer to. All the application for the medical, for the post-mortem says, is multiple gunshot wounds. So, Insofar as the circumstances in which Mr. Williams met his demise are concerned, it will lead to a long period of speculation, perhaps an interminable period of speculation, and worse, the family will have to go through the fact that they could not dispose of the body of their relative in accordance with their religious um, practices and religious rights protected under the Constitution, and they will have to address that. All of this could have been avoided, and that's precisely why Mr. Nandala was contacted yesterday. Mr. Williams, who are you feeling? How are you feeling? What are you feeling? What is going through your mind? What's going through my mind? Is there something to hide? What? Do you mean there's something to hide? And the fuse of a part of the body? Pardon me? Do you mean there's something to hide? I can't see. I, I can't see that. I wouldn't see that. I can't see that. But I, uh, uh, I don't think they got something to it. Why they don't want to give us? I, I wouldn't say they got something to hide because I don't. This is normal. Like what I see right then, that's normal. Things to happen. How things happen. You know what I'm saying? I would see that. I don't want to see see too much. Like you know, like speculate on things. So, uh, Emotionally, how are you feeling? How am I feeling?
I just, I, 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 just, I, I, I'm feeling real, real like, like bully, and I don't like to be bullied. I don't like that at all. Any, I don't like bullies. Oh, forgive me, sorry. Mm, excuse me. No, go ahead and finish up. Yeah, I, 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 I don't, I, I don't like to feel like I'm somebody like. People are like, trying to trample me down because and I'm on my right side. If there are no further questions, we just want to take the opportunity to thank you again for taking time out from your busy schedule to attend this our press conference. Thank you kindly. Recording.